Hello everyone, welcome back to Raider Power TV, bringing you the latest news here at RaiderPower.com on Texas Tech Sports. I'm Travis Cram, Managing Editor for RaiderPower.com, talking all about Red Raider basketball right now as the Red Raiders come home to United Spirit Arena after two tough games on the road, both ending in losses to Texas and Kansas. Now they get a chance to come home on Saturday to play Texas A&M. And of course, standing next to me is former Red Raider basketball player Andy Ellis and current sports analyst for the Texas Tech Radio Network. And I guess, Andy, to start off, it's never easy when you go on the road for a game in the Big 12. It's especially harder when you have to play two of the top three teams in the country. Uh, it is, you know, obviously on the road it is always going to be tough in the Big 12. Uh, every game is tough, even at home. But, you know, those two teams, Texas and Kansas, are obviously great teams. They're, they're ranked in the top five for a reason. Uh, they're really strong inside. They've got a few shooters and some good guards. And so, you know, those teams are good. I think those two are at the top of the Big 12. And then everybody else, you notice everybody has at least four losses. They're all kind of muddled in there together. Together. And so, you know, it, once you get those games out of the way, Tech's schedule has to get easier. I mean, they're done with those two teams. So I think that's a positive. I thought the second half of that Texas game, uh, we saw the Tech team play kind of the way we would expect them to see, like to see them play with a lot of energy, doing things. I know people are saying that, you know, Texas was lazy because they had a big lead. But, you know, from being at the game and watching the game, Texas was trying hard. Their coaches were on to them. I mean, they were trying to get things done. And Tech was just playing pretty good basketball in the second half. So I think that's encouraging. I think if they can continue that, you've got a chance to win some games here in the, in the last part of conference. You talk about that Texas game, as you notice that in the second half, they kind of notched down to, what, six or seven points there in the second half. But KU, and we even saw it last night against Missouri, a lot of coaches will talk about sharp shooters from the outside for teams, but with Kansas, it's especially tough, and they showed it against Tech on that last game. Yeah, they did. Uh, Kansas is just tough. I mean, they play inside and out. They've got the shooters. I know Selby's hurt now, but obviously he played pretty well against Tech. And then, you know, Morningstar, those guys are shooting the ball really well. And, and then the Morris twins, I mean, what can you say about them? They're, they're big. They know what their role is on the team, and they're athletic, and they get it done. And so, you know, that was a tough game for Tech, I think. I really think that game helped Tech in the Texas game of, of just getting you a little prepared. I know Tech didn't come out very well against Texas, but I thought they settled in and at halftime made some adjustments and played much better. We've seen a lot of Singletary, uh, Dwayne Roberts, even Paul Cooper getting in some games now, playing better on the boards, especially when they got on that hot streak in those three wins. What do you think they need to focus on now heading into this game against the Aggies? Well, you obviously have to be able to hit the boards against the Aggies. I mean, and that's a lot of their offense. They, they can't score the ball very well, so they're just throwing it up on the glass and going to get it. So you've obviously got to rebound well. That's something in the Big 12 that you have to do a lot of the time anyway. And uh, yeah, I think Tech is focusing more on that. They've, uh, you know, the last six or seven games, that rebound margin has been much better. And so, uh, and, and it's given them a chance in a lot of games. Obviously, the Texas and, and the Kansas game were a little different just because they're just better teams. But, uh, you know, I think looking forward into this A&M game, A&M is playing a lot like Texas did last year. A lot of talent. Everybody thought they'd be a good team. They play good defense, but they can't score the ball. So I think for Tech, you've just got to come out, play really good defense early, kind of get that mindset in A&M's head that, hey, we can't score again, and then crash the glass, like you say. And, and hopefully you'll have a chance to, uh, you know, get a win here at home. All right, that game Saturday afternoon here at United Spirit Arena. Be sure to check back on RaiderPower.com after the game for all the details. For Andy Ellis, I'm Travis Cram. We'll see you next time right here on Raider Power TV.